confusing. Um, so, but I was like, you know what? Let, let's get this book. Um, is it a cicada? I thought it's not the end of the world there. Darn, there are so many villagers out there I've never met before. So, it'll be fun to get someone new. And then I thought, well, there's like a tiny, tiny chance. I forgot that I, I meant to fix this. Let me fix it. There's a tiny chance I get one of two villagers that I can't stand. <laughs> there are two. Just two villagers that I really don't like because I have them in my town in New Leaf and I just didn't like them. I thought they were so funny looking and annoying and I just didn't care for them. And I just desperately wanted them to leave, and they are Pietro the, um, he's just this weird clown sheep, and, you know, it's weird that, I don't know why I didn't like him so much, I just didn't, I just think, I, I just think I, I don't care for, like, a clown theme, so, Pietro had to go, and the other one was Quills, and it was just this ugly duck. So those are the two I really don't like. So I was like, as long as I don't get one of them, I'll be fine. So I go up, I click on the sign, who's bought the blood? Guys, it was Quilson. One of the literal two areas. Two villagers. I said I did it one. So I immediately um, blocked off and he lives on his own island, isolated from everyone else. He may wear our town flag on his shirt. But he is not welcome, let me tell you. Not welcome indeed. Your days are numbered on this island, Quilson. That's all I have to say about that. I'm so mean to them. So, uh, this is Blair's house. That was Dobie's house. And then if you cross this little bridge, you go into my main plaza. I planted a lot of flowers around the paths, mainly roses. Let's go see what's um, on sale at the Able Sisters today. Do a little retail therapy. Oh, Blair's in here. I like Blair, but I don't know. I guess I'd be okay with her leaving. I'm, I'm okay with most of them leaving, I guess. Um, except for Goldie. Marcel, who is my husband Robert's favorite villager. And we even bought their amiibo cards so that we could for sure get them. I like these little tied up tees and I don't remember if I have one or not. It's cute. Sometimes because I have so much money, I just buy it anyway. And worse comes to worse, I just sell the spare one that I have. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, let's look at my hair in this. Oh yeah, I look good. I, I don't actually want it. <laughs> These are interesting, the steampunk goggles. I don't remember if I have a pair of these ribbon sandals or not. Anyway, I think maybe I'll grab the front tie D because that's cute. Oh wait, I did not want those goggles. I totally forgot I was still wearing them. Anyway, I'll buy that. I don't want to wear it though. I am not dressed appropriately for summer. <laughs> It was winter, you know, when I started it up and I put on something wintry and I thought I'll leave it on because by the time I'm done it will be autumn, you know, real life weather. Uh, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. Right now I'm lagging in July. So if we go down here, you'll find my, oh, I've got like a lost item. Okay. This is my campsite. Which I've tried to make nice and fun and cozy and you can lie on the cot, you can picnic, you can cook something, a pizza, or you can have popcorn. And this is where Plucky lives. Plucky was one of my original two villagers, Plucky and Teddy, and this is Annabelle's home. Here's my main plaza square. Uh, I have these two flower gardens where I'm trying to make the American flag or, you know, a tiny version of the American flag. So right here where this red one is, I need to put a blue rose, but it's taking me forever to breed a blue rose. If you know Animal Crossing, then you know that's like the hardest rose color to get. And then here's the English flag, because Robert is from England. His house is down here and it's an absolute mess. Wait, do I have that book? 
versa. I haven't talked too much. She lives here. What is her name? Maggie? Is it Maggie? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, see? I haven't spoken to Maggie in three months. Sorry, even though I spoke to her last night. Here's the plot where Benjamin used to live. So this morning, Benjamin mentioned moving out or wanting to move out, and I, I like Benjamin, but we already have two dogs, Marcel and Goldie, who are two of my favorites. So I thought, well, maybe we let Benjamin move out, and we look for someone new. That's a goal for today. So, this has been my updated island. I know we haven't really been on the west side, but there's really nothing going on over there. And I guess it's a Sunday. Um, so if you cross this bridge, you know, it leads up to Toby's house, and then we have just another beach area. I am not very good at decorating the island and doing the landscaping and all that. And I really like a natural look. So I have kept a lot of the island natural looking. Um, and I like it, and I'm happy. You'll notice a lot of money trees. Um, that's because they're Roberts. So we've marked them with an R, and he said I could have them, but I still just... <laughs> I don't know. I don't really need the money. So, as I said, Let's, let's get going. Let's do some more gameplay. So, I need to find Annabelle and then check these fossils. And then, also in my time traveling, I'm hoping that uh, I can get uh, Wilson to move. I did get Benjamin to move, but I didn't want Benjamin to move. I want Wilson to move. So, hopefully, we'll have two new villagers soon new one and whoever will replace Wilson. Hi Annabelle. I like her. Having this like an anteater style is um is different. I don't think they were in New Leaf. So I, I'd like her to stick around. And she's got like a cute personality. She's very peppy. I basically want to have um all of the different personalities. So she's the like peppy one and Daddy's the sporty one, and Marcel's the lazy, munchy one. Uh, Goldie is like the basic personality. Let's try this on. I guess that's pretty cute. I'll keep it. What are these pants? Oh, the ones that I was literally just wearing and I've already forgotten about. Okay, off to the museum. Uh, who else? Um, I don't know what I think. Maggie might be the peppy personality too. Toby is like the older, grouchy one, which I really like. I don't think I have an Uchi villager, but like the big sister one, and I really... I used to have one, and I lost her, so I want another. I feel bad for waking him up always. Okay, check this, and this, and this, and that, please. That's what I love. My, my museum collection, or the fossil bit at least, is almost done. So it's really rare that I find new ones. Um, but I do have a lot of bugs and fish to catch. Because I have missed quite a lot of time in the game. I, you know, I played a lot in last March and April and into May, I guess. And then sometime around then, I kind of slowly stopped. It wasn't playing much. sell some stuff and put some stuff up. And then I played a little bit in winter, which is the last time I made a video in December. And that was it. That was honestly the last time I played. So I really missed a lot. 
speedo. Now, the reason I felt like starting up playing Animal Crossing again is because I heard uh, that Brewster's coming back, and Brewster is like my favorite NPC character from Animal Crossing. I am so, so excited. Yes, please tell me. Her long horn beetle. Wow, very cool. He hates um, so much. Um, I thought that it would be, the Roost Cafe would be its own separate building, you know, like the museum, like um, the Able Sisters, and but no, apparently it's gonna go up here, I think. I wonder if there'll ever be something to go on this side. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I am happy or not, because on one hand, yay, I don't have to clear room for another thing on my island, and I'm sure that everyone who's got their island exactly how they want it and everything has its place, I'm sure they're like, thank goodness I didn't want uh, to have to move everything around, but I actually have quite a lot of space on my island, so I kind of wanted like a separate cafe that, and I have a, a spot in mind, I was going to put it north of my main nook, um, plaza, whatever you would call that. Okay, so we'll put that in storage, put these things in storage. Um, put that in storage. Uh, honestly, I guess put that in storage too. Um, I'm just gonna put that mug down right here so I don't forget to look at it later. Okay, time to go island popping. I have one miles to get. I'm like 90 and more miles that I could use to get more. Alrighty. And I'm also hoping that since it's past 4 p.m., maybe we catch some sharks. I've only got two sharks, a hammerhead and a remora. So, okay, fingers crossed we find some really fun potential neighbors. Hi, Orville. Hi. If you've noticed, there's an, a space after my after the word ja, major space, and oh my gosh, it drives me insane. I desperately wish that there were a way that I could rename it just so I could get rid of that space. It just makes me so so sad. Like I thought I triple check. I, I'm usually the kind of person that triple checks. I've spelled I've spelled like everything right, but no. It, I somehow missed putting in an extra space. So annoying. It's raining on the island. Okay, who is here? And what kind of island did we get? Looks like the standard kind of island. Oh, a lot of beetles. Oh, well, they're fun looking. I think, um, Um, uh, I'm pretty sure I have these beetles, so I don't know if I should... Sorry, something stuck in my throat. Uh, I don't know if I should bother trying to catch them or not. Maybe not. We don't have a cat. Dangy. Wow, I think, like, one and done. I love Dangy. Dangy is amazing. The rear is a little weird. Oh my gosh, I don't know, because, like, I quite like Dangy. They're... They're really, um, interesting looking, like they're a little orange, and I think that's really cute. I guess I should be catching stuff, I'm pretty sure. I know I have a snail, and I'm pretty sure I have this beetle. The way the snails roll off is so funny. Yeah, and so I have that. Isn't this just a cicada? How many different kinds of cicadas are there? Because this one looks different than the others. Oh, this is a brown cicada, and I apparently have not caught that. There's some summer shells, so I'm not bothering with them. I really want sharks. Really, really, really want sharks. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. So what do you think? Do we... Oh, wow, here, do Really? That's kind of weird. And do we go with Dangy? Why didn't I just learn that? I'm pretty sure I, I don't know that. Oh, I do know it. Take that back. Um, I'm gonna look up Dengi. I don't know why. I don't know what that's going to uh, tell me or not. Um, they're definitely 
because he's gonna lose it on me today. Excuse me, wake up again. His face always gets me when he's like, oh. Cicada time. The noisiest thing in the book world. Yeah, go ahead. I always say yes. Yeah, they are pretty obnoxious. Uh, where I grew up, um, we had a lot of cicadas. Well, we still do a lot of cicadas. Um, but when you grow up around that, you know, you get used to it. You know, it's like, I, I like people who live in a city. You know, like if you live around New York City and there's constant traffic sounds, car horns, and it's so noisy. And if you visit that, you're like, oh my gosh, how can anyone stand this noise? But if you grew up there, you're like, what noise? How do I even hear it? Same thing with the uh, cicadas. And back in 2013, um, when Robert first visited me in the U.S., uh, like literally the second he stepped out of the car, he was like, what is that noise? And we were all like, what noise? And um, the next morning, I was like, hey, how did you sleep? And he was like, I could like, not sleep because it was so loud. And I was just baffled. I was like, the, those bugs kept you up. Yeah, he couldn't even sleep. The cicadas were so loud, even inside the house. And um, now that I no longer live there, when I go home, I hear what he means. I can hear the cicadas now. I've been away too long and like they are crazy loud. You can, you have to shout. They're so loud. Uh, so, I feel really bad. They are so noisy. Okay, let's get, um, can I get like more than one?
see the shape, I get really excited, and it's always a darn ribbon heel. Um, jock. Jock villager. I don't know that I need another jock. Let me look up. Boo, no. Science Club when I was a kid and we competed and 
it's going to be another darn sea bass. Uh, yeah, let's go put our new sunfish up. I am so, so excited about that. Let's sell these darn sea bass. I knew I was... I just knew it. And I'm so freaking excited about Fuchsia. She's really cute. I mean, looks don't need to be everything, but I just don't like the way Quilson looks. And Fuchsia's fun and big. Why do I always catch the biggest fish? I, I don't know why I do this, but I actually need to be catching more freshwater fish because my freshwater fish uh, exhibit, why did I do that? I panicked. It's like empty. I think I've got two fish in the whole display. So I really, really, really need to be doing some river fishing, pond fishing. Like for all of them of all sizes. I think I have that. It's just, yeah, it's a dace. It's one of those ones that you catch all the time. Let me just... Let me just triple check with Fuchsia that she's all good to go. Yes, okay. So she's definitely gonna meet us back home. Let's see what this is. The fact that it's in this specific area is interesting, makes me think it's something, um, different. That might be too far away. Okay, let's try. Let's go check. 
something on there, I don't know. And maybe, maybe something else in there. Or maybe that's it. I'd very much like to have this as an outfit. It feels like something I would wear. Sweet.